What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're here with Astroneer. And today we're going to build an underground base. So, this is a habitat. You make it within the printer. You have to research the habitat first. And we're going to build an underground base just for research and doing things, you know, deep underground. I've set up a couple of pathways to get myself to the deep underground or the deep underground caves. Um, if you've never seen them, just follow me on my journey down there. Um, I use the control to build these, you know, this bridge network. And the reason you want to be deep down there is because that's where all the good research is, is way down. And I'll show you what I mean. We will get away from tree nuts and stuff. I don't want to slip too much, but this is where we want to be. Is way under here, building a base. And as you can see, research kind of just falls from the ceiling. Like, this is all research. That's an important research right there. It looks different from all the others. So that's how I usually determine it. And we're going to set this baby down right here. So just click that, and now we get a base. So we need to bring up some resin. There's another important research right there. But showing you guys, like, look at this, a dead body. Not even my body. Titanium, we'll come back for your body. I need to go get resin on board. See, the hardest part is going to be bringing down resources. I didn't build this to take in a truck. Uh, a rover should be able to fit in here, but... I don't feel like bringing it all the way down here. I'll build it down here if I need to. Um, but I did a lot of experimenting with Mr. Uh, Boomer. He was having some troubles getting the habitat and stuff like that. So I joined his multiplayer world and I dig because my life didn't matter. I dig all the way down to this thing from his base. And I thought, why the hell can't I do that in my game? So I did. So we're going to use this. Get a couple of resources. I want to get as much resin as possible uh first is always going to be the research to come up though let's see what do we got give me two resin for that that ain't bad what else do we get on board we got compound waste useless power right there we got aluminum i'm gonna keep that lots of compound i'm gonna keep the compound too um last off I'm gonna look for a resin node. See, I'm carrying around a lot of oxygen tanks and stuff. When you're moving around, it comes in so much use, I guess. Comes in handy. Let's see, we got compound for days. But it allows me to move around the planet without having to rover everywhere. Um, and sometimes you just gotta look around the planet. On foot, you miss things on the rover. Let's see. All right, we'll hook ourselves back up to the line. Here, take this compound for now. I'm actually not going to need tethers for a couple minutes. Oop, I picked up the game. Sorry about that, guys. I hope it's still recording. It happens. I'm gonna bring the tethers. I'm gonna bring the compound. I'll bring the tethers. Fuck it. Nope. I'm gonna bring the compound. Shift click also works. Quick way you can see I'm producing power like nuts from there. Uh, I was going to change planets, but then I thought the real point of changing planets is to get research quickly and get resources that you can get available everywhere else. These are my giant resin holes. There's power that just spits out. Here, give me another hydrazium. And I've already lost. There we go. Put a giant, uh, built a giant rock next to it to find it. I'll, I'll probably morph this into a more cave look. Let's see the music in this game it's very peaceful it's it's not about you know avoiding enemies shooting at you it's about avoiding poison that is sentient life basically oh, look at that all oh, that research i mean even if it's not re just research i don't have enough resin are you kidding me i forgot about that all right any resin down here no damn it 
Alright. Do you have resin on your body? No. That's very unfortunate, actually. Never really find resin underground. I always forget you need two to start, like, your first platforms. See, that's going to be the biggest problem down here is going to be resin. Um, I'm not sure if a trade platform is going to work down here. I might have to dig, like, a hole above it. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, we can try it. See if it crashes into the ceiling of the cavern. Here. Fuel for resin. All you gotta do is give this power and you have unlimited resource, basically. Alright, let's check out. Two resin for one lithium. Let's hook this up. We're gonna need resin for days. Then we're gonna get a melter smelter down there. Build whatever the fuck we want down there, basically. Alright, give me my resin. I don't wanna dump aluminum, but I can get it down there. I gotta wait till I have a forge. I'll put it down there in a hole. I wonder. I might dig like a a shoot. If I put a chute, say, here, directly down into where I am, it might work. You know, drop the resource, use the physics of the drop in gravity to uh, throw it right down into my cave. Whoa. I should build walls on my little ramp. I don't plan on going to the surface enough. Alright, we're down. Cool. All right, you need to be research. Thank you. We got run resin. Start working on that part. Power. Right, you're gonna be a problem, aren't you? How are you with resources on the wall for now? I feel like we can get more resin down here. Start setting up base camp. No one ever said base camp was gonna be easy to set up. I want this. Alright, what are you gonna give me? Research right away. Always nice. I got the crane. That is sweet. I'll show you guys why I want I'm enjoying getting the crane so like that. Another research cube. And these cubes should be research. It shouldn't be something stupid, but I mean, you guys have seen me get bad luck lately. Oh, we're doing well. This base is already a good idea. A spaceship. Yep, that's like a bigger takeoff. So now we have a, basically a takeoff platform for everything we're going to do. All right, we got aluminum, we got copper. A little bit of a check-in on what we got. All of the research. It's so ridiculous. This is why you want to be down here, though. Give me another one, please. All right. Knock another research out of the way. So what you want to look for is I've researched a lot of these. What you haven't really researched a lot of. So what I'm looking for is cubes. Things that are out of the ordinary for research. Like this. This one I might have researched quite a bit. There's that stupid zebra ball. I was told not to touch that. Um, it can cause corrupt data, save data, things like that. Not always the best. But after this, we'll go check out our crane and etc, etc.
another actual research. Man, we're on top of things. Storage. Not bad. Alright, let's head up. Head up. Keep moving. Dude, these tree knots have researched so many of them. They're not really worth it anymore. Alright, let's head up. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Ayo, ayo. Alright, give me my resin. There we go. Alright, next thing's gonna have to be a forge. Or whatever the hell they call it in this refinery. And then hopefully like a vehicle bay. I'm going to show you guys the drill and the crane soon as well. Printer would be nice. I need something that produces power. And down here you don't get solar or wind. So you got to go full Jenny. And I have to find coal. I think it's even deeper than this. So we'll see on that one. I actually want to extend that again. I know I'm out of resin, but it's important that I do that. Need compound for the smelter. You know what? I'm going to go with the vehicle bay right away. As you can see, there's no power down here. It's going to be a lot of moving up and down, so I'll be right back, guys, once I kind of get base camp set up. I'll see you guys in a sec. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I built my underground car with the drill head and everything. So we're going to try and, you know, mine power for the first part of this thing because I need power. This is not the research. I'm going to grab that. So we got the crane on board. Sit on in her. Oh god. The weird. And just mine around with our little green operator that we got going here. I know it's dark. We can really it's got good reach. It's not really deep mining though, you know what I mean? Like I can't just go really that deep. I guess if you want to say I'm going deep, I'm going deep, but I wouldn't say it's that deep. You can do it a lot just with your own hands. Kind of like an oil trigger. Digger. Wow, I said trigger. Get to a max out there. And it should be building up right on the back of our car or spitting out because I'm full. It's not really the most efficient way of doing things. It's just a cool little concept. Hopefully in the future it gets improved upon. It's good for getting organic, that's what I was told. As you can see, we got copper, we got power on board. A lot of stuff, but I want the research. It's the more important part of this whole thing, but I thought I would build this car just for the concept of having a rover down here. Yeah, and able to, you know, bring the research point concepts to light. Um, I'll probably build another one, you know, just tractor trailer, a ton of research over here. And where did I put my little generator? I put a generator around here somewhere. Ooh, research. Didn't even tell me what I got. The hell? I got something. Just if you're not in the area, it doesn't tell you. That's fucking stupid. I'm not going to sit next to my base all day trying to get research going. Let's see. I know I had a copper on board. Bring this one. This one looks kind of cool. But power is always going to be a problem down here. I need to get a way of building a trade platform down here. Bringing coal, I think, is going to be the most successful way of doing things. But this little generator can do some work. 
I'll accept it as a means of power for now. Maybe I'll get two of them going in the squad. As you can see, it's going to transfer the research or power over to my research. A giant generator is going to be way more successful. But I, I like that we, what we got going down here. Basically, it's just constant research. And of course, I'm going to, you know, continue more on the surface. I got to move planets and stuff like that. But I thought it would work on this concept while I'm on this planet for ease of access. We got some titanium. We still need a printer. We still need a trade platform. I believe I want to go for trade platform next. Just feels like it would be very helpful for what we're doing. Let's see if there's any anything. All right, so we got a deep pit. We're gonna take the car. And if that leads to, you know, coal, we'll have unlimited power. Ultimate power. I do need another resin, though. Very unfortunate. There's another research cube. Always stop and get your research. Getting every element of the game, that's one of the biggest parts. I mean, now I have, that I have the spaceship, I have way more storage on moving planets. <clears throat> So I can decide what I want to take. And sorry if I'm losing my voice. It happens though. You can't really stop yourself from losing your voice. Alright, let's go get the car while we're waiting. Um, I would also like to be able to get organic down here. I could have built that, that shaft to really drop resources down into. Let's take our crane over there. That also looks like it gets deeper over there as well. I'd rather take paths that my truck doesn't have to go off a cliff. Um, it takes way more work to go off a cliff and then cut back up. Hmm. Driving mechanics. So far, Mike said, I love this game, but the driving mechanics are wonky. Camera angles can get a little wonky as well. All right. At the bottom of this should be some type of research or dead body. Or even deeper and within a cave network. Looks like research. Yep, that's totally research. looks like a basic tree nut. Whatever. No light, no glory. There we go. This is so buggy. I don't know. I think if you're going to have some of these clip and some of them not clip, make them all clip or make them all not clip. Don't do one or two in each each mass like these big towers are unclippable they stop you just don't do that I think it would make driving a little bit more enjoyable in caves but who am I to say as I said this game is very very like it's pre-alpha that is what they want it classified as so put that down on the grain of salt or take that with a grain of salt is the same all right lithium Shit, we might have researched everything. I feel like we haven't, but... Then again, you never know. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do what I was doing earlier. And that is take power from main base just by hooking into one of these tether lines. I think the storm's gonna stop it, though. Yeah, as you can see, I'm stealing power from my main base just off this tether line. Refilling the batteries. And then I should be able to just go... Bit. Bit. Quick way to move power, I guess. Wish it just the tether lines transferred power to the main base as well. But who am I to judge? Take another look around. I 
That is more research. This is definitely a success, though, in my book. Um, the more research, the better, obviously. And these are more advanced than tree nutting, so... Gotta move quick just to get on the oxygen. Alright, eat this power. Right, let's see if that trip was worth it. I doubt it. Oh, it was. Um, is that a bug? It's not telling me my research now. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know if that's a bug, guys. I am unsure as hell. But thank you guys for stopping by. We're going to stop here today. Uh, if anybody knows how to find coal the best way, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but I think this research station is very successful. And I spent a lot of time on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.